Hello everyone, you're welcome to Delaware Studios. Uh, this is the concluded part of the integration of the Google Play in Abilene into an Android 6 application. Okay, now we'll be doing a live uh, in-app uh, integration. So we are continuing from the first uh, tutorial in which uh, the first tutorial was a dummy, you know, a dummy data. But now we're going to do, we're going to go through the steps of having a real life uh, uh, in our billing testing so we're going to actually put in a value of a uh, price you know and we're going to have it uh uh you know uploaded or let's say uh reflected in the application okay but before we continue or before we get to that level we need to uh have an account in the google developer console so i'll be going through there now you must have an account as an Android developer, you know, with Google Play. So uh, actually, Google uh, collects like um, twenty-five dollars to have these uh, in place for you. Uh, this is how the interface, let's say, the dashboard of my home personal account. This is how it is the Google Play Developer Console. Okay. Uh, actually, you need to add a new application over here uh, in this uh, big button you see in right fight with the right corner okay i've actually done that i've, I've created an application called in-app billing okay which uh i'm going to open right now so that we can be able to see some of the details in there we have the apk the store listing the content rating pricing in-app services and apis customization tips you know uh, you have to fill all this successfully before you can publish an application to the Google Play. You know, so after you develop with Android Studio, you know, you wrap up your, uh, you sign up your APK, you bring it over to the Google Developer Console. From there, you make the necessary uh, input or uh, the short descriptions, uh, the icons and the screenshots of the application before you now push finally to the Google Play Store. Okay, uh, I'll be going to the service and APIs of this particular application I created in which we will need a base 64 encoded RSA public key, you know, which we need to include in our, in our source files. So I would like to copy this chunk of code, this chunk of uh, encoded key here. Okay, once I copy it, I go back to my Android Studio to, to, to place it into the Big 64 encoded public key string. Okay. Right. All right. So we have it that way. Okay. That's, that's okay. So after this step, you know, we need to build up. And this time, we need to sign up this, uh, this application. Okay. Uh, if you are still unfamiliar with a step of signing up uh, 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 an APK, I would like you to go through my uh, my tutorial of how to generate a signed APK using Android Studio. But I won't be doing that now. I'll just tell you, I'll just show you how the APK, you know, uh, after just give me a few, within a few minutes. Okay. And I have a release version of this application. So I'll be uploading it to the Google Play Developer Console. All right, I'm going to go straight to my Google Play Developer Console. Uh, uh, we'll move to the APK session. Uh, before you can, you should just play around uh, with this uh, Developer Console so that you'll be able to understand what it actually does. Okay, I'll move to the APK session. That's the internet. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to upload my first APK to production. Okay. Uh, let me browse for files. Where is that? Where is this sitting? I think it's sitting on my desktop project now. Oh, let me just click and drag into it. Okay, I have the APK release here. 
so then just pick it up and drag into this okay that's fine so i'm uploading it to the uh to the console so i'm gonna like wait for some minutes The upload is, is on the way. All right. Okay, we need to provide store address in the account details of the elevator. Okay, and now I have uh, my upload right in the draft ready for production okay in today may 12 2016 my version version one all right that's fine so it has been accepted uh on the platform so i still need to do some configuration before i can fully push it up but i'll be going straight to the in-app products uh, that's why i'm going to do some configuration to actually get our um our inner building working okay the new product all right um what's our product id right inside the item sku uh i will actually need to modify this because we're going for a live testing now so i'm going to add cam dot delivery studios uh dot button click okay that's going to be our product id so let's go back to okay so it's going to be um the delivery studios that modding click okay uh as well we need to know the type of product we need to manage okay so it's going to be managed products okay uh so it's going to accept this you cannot change this product type and product id later all right it's fine this is this come to the studios the button click so we gotta continue this uh, step right okay um, so we are in the manage new manage product so we're gonna uh, fix up a title to, uh, to these are uh, let's say in a billing let's say a button click on it let put it this way um, Then put in up billing a description okay this is test and purpose you can still change this later on test and purposes okay the what price okay it's actually picking my local currency All right that's fine but let me put a price and put 100 so the price excludes tax okay this is actually going to pick the uh the currency of location okay local price blah 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 i think that's fine so this is where we actually have the access to filling uh the default price and some other details okay I'll, I'll need to save this up okay your inner product has been saved okay that's fine so we now have a saved in app billing product okay so we'll be moving further uh into testing and getting our apk we're gonna finish the store listing we're gonna do the content rating 
the pricing and distribution before we can be able to publish this into alpha better okay uh we we'll we we'll continue okay so we need to activate this okay okay it has a mark to be activated when the application is being published okay need that uh configured as well okay after some configuration of the inner billing i would like to show you some few details This is the, develop, uh, the Google Play Developer Console dashboard. Okay, I've actually uploaded the APK and I've also imputed the store listing. You know, you just have to do that. You know, I've gotten the screenshots, gotten an icon and also a feature graphic. Okay, I've filled in the necessary uh, details. Even I've also done the content rating uh, in which I have to, I filled up some questionnaire and I got a uh, uh it's the certificate for filling up the questionnaire i know successfully okay i've also done the pricing and distribution uh whereby i made it free to uh to 136 countries okay okay you just have to do that as well you have to check the content guidelines and also agree with the u.s export laws okay now in my inner products uh if you noticed uh my 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 inner billing uh id okay uh has been set and also i've actually done uh finished up the configuration whereby i set up a template you know you have to set up a template over here uh the present template and also pick up the countries that you want to exchange the currency to because i'm using my own local currency which is naira okay you have to set up a template for your inner billing you know this aspect is very very important you need to do that configuration i've downloaded that you know uh so i'm just trying to show you uh the necessary things you need to do and your enabling must be active okay uh these are uh, id must be equal to the uh the click id you actually used you know uh so you can you you have the access to only use one id uh one uh one uh, button click id so if you feel that you are no more using this again you have to uh delete this off and create a new one okay uh even in my cyber apis okay this is where i got uh the uh the big 64 calls that i've been able to done to create up so my apk is right on on google play store you know so it's live i've actually uh uploaded it to the to, to google play so it's live so i can even check it from google play let me go through it let me go to Google Play. Okay, Google Play. Let me search for Leroy Studios. Uh, if you notice there's the application in Abilin uh, from Delaware Studios okay let me just click and see the details of the application so it must be fully installed you no know, it must be live before you can actually have the uh, in Abilin functionality uh, incorporated with it. if you notice this is that the application offers an inner purchase purchases okay uh, if you actually find any step, you know, very difficult to do, just leave a comment. I'll be very, very glad to assist. Uh, and also, I would like to show you uh, the screenshot of the inner billing in a real device. Okay, can you notice this? I actually tested it uh, using uh, 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 a friend's Gmail account, you know, a friend's Gmail account, actually, because you can't actually use your own uh, personal account to test up this. You have to probably set up a testing account with another Gmail account, or you can contact a friend to probably just help you in testing it and see it out. So this is just how the uh, interface looks. With no more fake or uh, whatever. You know, it, this is the real uh, uh, live or uh, inner billing with uh, the hundred naira uh, sign. This can be equivalent to any currency that you use, probably US dollars, Australian dollar, uh, Great Britain pound and even japanese yen okay 
that's fine uh, and i will actually show you another one more one more screenshot too uh which is just uh let me just open it with so uh, okay let me open it okay all right this is the uh after you after you might have clicked the next uh, button you get to this level so add a credit or debit card so when you actually add click on this you know this is more secret so it doesn't really allow me to pick up a screenshot from it so you can actually add uh, your debit card make payments and get a uh, get it done you know this is the real life integration because i've actually hosted it to the google play server so and i've done the necessary configuration uh from uh from my developer console so you should be very very familiar with that okay uh the steps are just not they're not tedious they're just you know while if you actually pass followed it uh very well you're going to get through to this level and you're going to have your inner billing working most especially place more focus on the inner billing uh the in-app products uh, session. This session is very, very important because this is where the billing is being incorporated. This particular session, very, very important. The details in it is, is also important too because I would like to show you how it's going to look like. This is how it's going to look like, you know. If I pick the countries, one that the these countries involved. Okay, and they're going to like convert the, the, the amount to their particular currency and also set up a template very important this session is very important and get your inner billing live thank you very very much all through along uh, the inner billing integration into uh, an android application i hope you've been able to understand this very very well and you also need to sign up to a google developer console with just 25 dollars is a is a one-time payment you know the lifetime payment unlike our uh, ios that you have to pay up to a hundred us dollars every year annually but this is just a one-time payment. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.